and they use the clock because Goose actually understands what's going on. But <laughs> overall, no, this has not been this has not been very official chess tonight. I'm gonna have to tell these people what's up because I messed with the clock earlier. It's really easy to use. Yo, thanks for the raid. Take the L smash. Appreciate you. Welcome, new viewers. You came just in time. That's the Melee Wednesday Weekly up north. Oh, wow. let's go. Hello, Shout friends. out to... We love Melee players around here. We love Melee. See, this character's in Melee. We're basically playing Melee for you uh, guys. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know about that. Nah, we're, we're, we're playing... It's essentially... It's Thank just, you, 8-Ball. It's Melee HD. I feel like I'm hearing that double echo. right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That echo, though... And there's also double Ness, too. I just love, like, you don't really notice how obnoxious Ness's voice lines are until there's two of him. No, okay. <laughs> Sora's voice lines, though? Yeah. You see, I, I'm Sora pilled because I grew up with him, so I like them. <laughs> but I fully understand why people don't. But all I'm hearing on, like, every time a hit comes out, you get the hit, and then the ah! Mm, take this. Even game, though. We're playing Smash 4 right now. Two stocks to two. One of them is going to start a combo. It has to happen. If it doesn't, it's going to be a lame Ness set. I would love to see Ness buffs in Melee. I always thought that character was super cool because, like, he's got the same stuff that we see Amsa doing with Yoshi with... Oh, Double Debo, jump cancels. Zebo just absorbed uh, Solo's thunder and killed Solo with the. That's the classic smart, right there. Smart using it. Smart using uh, his absorb. My brother's when a Nest main. I used to do that yeah, to him all the time. Whenever I play with my friend Nestados, he's always gonna absorb my thunder. That's why you see so much usage of that crazy Nest air dodge to get back to stage because his uppy is so exploitable. Better than it used to be, though, because the up B hitbox is a lot more aggressive. Mm -hmm. In the past, like Smash 4, you could just jump in there and hit him, and there was nothing you could do about it. Now, sometimes, sometimes, if it's a Nest Dodo, Ditto, you can still occasionally do that. And that's some Nest supremacy like there. If I'm, if I'm doing a Nest Dodo or like a Lucas and Ness, I'm playing Ness, right? It's not that hard for me to go down and just try to spike them with down air. Debo looked really good after that first stock. It seemed like maybe he was just, you know, getting used to it, getting the feel for stuff. Yeah. And then he adapted so hard. And now the onus is on Solo to adapt back. Let's see what he can do. Stage counter picks are interesting here because it's just such a case of personal preference. They're just both naring each other. Yeah. They're trying to. They're just doing aerials. You like can't that, even tell who's combo is. Jab reset. Oh. Okay, I okay! Uh, oh, Debo cooking right now! I thought he was gonna do an F smash after that one PK fire, but no, he, he went, he went, he did everything. He went all in, that was the Twitter combo right there. My man just got clipped. Yeah. I mean, Solo hasn't fully adapted yet. Round two? Debo's using, uh, that was brilliant well, from Debo! That up B made Solo's up B go could, short. This could be a very quick match. That was so clean, and now Solo down one stock to three. Yeah, Solo what can he hasn't, do? hasn't uh, used the yo-yo yet. On the, well, I mean, he, he probably has. But then Debo is using the yo-yo really smart off stage, and then, well, which is mo mo what most Ness players do, but still. Solo. Okay, there we go. Uh, failed to do it. Also, there would have absorbed. Oh, that was so well spaced from Debo. He didn't get hit by the yo-yo. Really showing the difference in these players right now. Debo just seems so much more in tune, at least in the ditto. Yeah, Debo like really is knowing. Oh knows my what he's goodness! Doing. As I say that though. And then Solo went really deep there, absorbing his thunder and then recovering. He couldn't off even the stage. Couldn't even see it. He just went all the way down there. He knew exactly what was happening. And great okay. stall from Solo, but Debo does the same thing to him, and I also love that Debo didn't try to yeah. recover. No, that was such a quick game. Come on. What's the end of the set? That was quick a set. 
That was, I guess, uh, winners finals uh, were going best of five. Uh, well, I guess it's a little I mean, bit. I know, like earlier, earlier, uh, they, were, they were saying that it was best of three, but best of five is better. Yes, top four is best of five. Okay. All right, top four, best of five. Shout Sweet out to production keeping us on track here, knowing what's going on. So it's already starting out with an air. Aerials, who's got a slight combo, already has Debo of 41%. Certainly looking a lot better than the last game. Yeah. Also ran back to the same stage, which is brave from Solo. Both tried to grab each other, it looks like. And then they're both try trying to steal PK Fire and nair each other. Okay. The it looks like Debo tried to go for a jab reset, but then Solo. Yeah, he kind of option selected there. He went for yeah. the down tilt and then just went right into a grab afterwards. Because a lot of times you try to shield after that, right? Because, yeah. like, down tilt's so safe. So you can Zeebo's just grab really good at adapting and, and uh, the reading people. Let's see if Solo can make something happen in this corner situation. No, Debo gets out, though. As I say that, sent him the other way around, barely fading into the ledge. Great stuff from Debo. Debo. probably trying to hit him with the thunder, but he barely misses it, and then he kills him with Yo-Yo. Yeah, he floated in so well, and Solo overextended a little bit trying to punish it. Debo is, like, teching, using Nest, like, Nest tech there. Yeah, Debo's got those little, like, like he, weird He's stopping combos himself now. with the aerials and the, and the, um, absorbs. The side magnet? Yeah, side magnets, uh, in the air. Like, using them to afford, avoid getting hit, I mean, everyone does that, though. Debo trying so hard to get Solo to jump in there, just going for the retreating mm -hmm. fares over and over. So Solo just ran in and killed him. I hit him on the back air for a second time. Oh, I was ready for the down the air there. Bad situation for Debo. He goes high, oh. gets nared. However, he was able to get back to ledge just because yeah, he did Solo. Solo is knowing what, knows what he's doing right now. Ness down tilt is such an insane move. Yeah. Can do it so fast. There's like barely any end lag at all. Nice double jump, fair, risky options. Going all the way out, and now Solo in the lead. Talk about adaptation. Let's see what Debo can do to bring this back. I know he certainly can. That's one way to do it. Drag down up there in the stage. Man. Launches him up. And he was trying to hit him with the aerial aerials, aerials to kill him, except it doesn't work. <laughs> the solo dash <laughs> dancing. I love it. Try to get in this man's head. Unfortunately, it did not work out, and now he's in a bad spot. And All the right. down smash, yeah. Yeah. Both of these characters so so volatile off stage. You have to space perfectly to get around that yo-yo, but it is possible. We saw Debo doing it earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Debo uh, like really knows how to use that yo-yo. Like when when like he knows he he knows when to use that yo-yo. Yeah, like that. I mean, it didn't work that time, but still I mean, hit him. He still got he the hit. You, he was managed to be safe out of it. Thought he might hit him with the aerials. Yo -yo Debo's possibly? bringing this back. No. Okay. Tried to, didn't work though. Dash tech when uh, get up tech. And then is that back gonna do it? No, not it's not. Solo's going low for that. He wanted too it. too early. And there we go. And that, yeah, that, kill, that should kill. Okay, Solo took a game. Thought it was about to be a 3-0. Great stuff to Solo. After that second game, I was feeling a little bit bad for the guy. He was in a combo reel, and he didn't even know it. But mm -hmm. Yeah, Solo, like, really adapted. He did. That's what he, he's doing now. And he caught Devo doing some unsafe stuff, like that landing at the end, trying to mix up his options, but Solo was so ready for it. Oh, he's going off. He wants this. Solo's been so much more aggressive off stage than Debo, especially yeah, in that Debo, last game. Debo already got him 52 just with up airs. Yeah, that's the big difference. Debo's combo game is so strong. It feels like Solo has to work twice as hard just because every time Debo gets a hit, it goes all the way. Yeah, he, he's just doing a bunch of combos, and it's getting him to a high percentage until he's going to 
like hit him with the backer off stage or yo yo plus. Great stall from Solo there. He maneuvered that thunder just to wait a little bit longer. That's so hard to do once you get the thunder around the back. He had to like re-angle it. Very impressive. And now he goes off again. Another off opportunity. Manages to trade in just the best way possible. Could have easily gotten stage spiked there. And now Solo going in for another round, but these combos are just not connecting for him. Okay, Tech Chase gonna get Echo? missed. He didn't quite kill him yet, even though he's at a high percentage shell. And uh, another yo -yo down smash. Do it. That down smash has been the MVP of this set. Mm. I wanna see some mix-ups. I wanna see an up smash. Get real crazy out here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, dittos can get like crazy. Dittos are fun. And so, for me, fun makes it easier to do cooler stuff. Yeah, just style on them. Mm -hmm. It's easier to do it in friendlies though, because like when you're in bracket, and especially on stream, it makes like, for me, more nervous, which makes me play worse. <laughs> yeah. And I hate that. Why? Why would? Why does it have to be when you're dead? Yeah. And Once again also here. My problem. We're back to an even game. Devo brought right this now. back so well. Yeah, Solo's already adapting, knowing what to do, and then Debo not being able to SDI out of it. This set has been so back and forth. It seems like yeah. each of them just gets momentum on a stock and deletes the other one. But again, I just feel like Solo has to work so much harder. He's winning neutral so often. Yeah, it's kind of how Ditto's work, though. <laughs> like, you, like, it's just, like, it goes back and forth who, who's winning. Like, it's, it's, like... That yeah. magnet just saved Debo's life. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But he's at 132, up the up tilt. Yeah, that's going to do it. Barely hit him. We've got a game five on our hands. The first game five of the night. Ignore the fact that this is the first time that that was possible, but still, yeah. the first game five of the night. Let it be known. I think I might hop off, try to go and see friendlies. Sounds good. Can I get some love and some chat for Doom Duck, the prodigy of PNW? This man's going to pop off, I'm telling you. Love having you on the mic, dude. See you. With these audio effects. Now that I'm by myself, I'm not talking to anybody anymore. All I hear is just like st this child. <laughs> Making grunting noises. Risky up smash coming out from Debo there, but he wasn't punished. I feel like a lot of these smash attacks, they're giving each other so much respect. Another get up attack from the ledge. We're seeing more and more of those. Devo's working so hard to get these drag down confirms, and honestly, he's had a pretty good hit rate of it. I'm not seeing Solo doing the same. I feel like that's been a big difference in their gameplays. Their their combo routes are just very different. But you know what's not different is smash attacks at the ledge. Both of them have them, and they work real well. Okay, we got the up airs coming out from Debo. I think he might have been hoping for a drag down at the end there as his nature for him to do. Didn't get it instead, though manages to get a little bit of momentum in this second stock. He's got a fragile lead. Nice dash up grab. That hasn't been used a lot with how many aerials have been coming out in this game, which of course makes sense because they're super safe. His opponent solo was definitely not expecting that grab. That time though, the grab into grab Whiff grab into whiff grab and nothing happens at all. 
And now just down smash on shield. Yeah, you got to roll out of that great shield adjustment from Solo there to not get shield poked. And he gets the back air for his troubles, taking that stock. Now Solo in the lead after again. He was down 2-0 in the set. Are we going to see the reverse 3-0 or is the Debo difference going to come out in full force? So far that air dodge is so laggy and Debo falls into the blast zone. A tragic ending to a very hype set. Great stuff from both players. And unfortunately for Debo, that is going to send him down onto loser's side. But he's still in this tournament. It is not over for our man. Now a little bit of bracket update for y'all. Mio Aloha is in progress. Loser's quarter is off stage right now. Uh, Tarachi Avenue is also in progress, and the winner of that is going to be playing against Pokepen. But let's take a quick look at these highlights here. So many down smashes at the ledge. That was really the name of the game. That and back air, as we saw there. There's the down smash. We saw the back airs. I love those cheeky magnets as well. Is this the one where now Solo goes way off? No, that's the, uh, the crazy Debo back air. There it is. He goes so far, just waits for that little flash of healing. Uh, and Solo took the set. Uh, now we have... Man, this, the second game was so dominant for Debo. It's hard to believe that Solo brought that back so convincingly in that last game. He too stocked in that last game. Admittedly, a really unfortunate air dodge came out for Debo. But still, we take those. And Solo was way ahead already. So we can't even blame the air dodge for him losing that game. Also, that nice little cheeky up tilt hill. Every once in a while, that comes out for Ness. You forget it exists, and he just covers a roll in on platform or something. And yeah, there it is. Debo with a tragic SD to close out that set. He absolutely could have brought it back. You never know. Yo, what's up, Pokepen? 